What up friends, Jackie here from Interact and you all showed a lot of love on this video so we wanted to recreate a new version for you in case it's more helpful because also this one's gonna be a lot more easier. In that recent video, I told you how you could convert any PDF, article, or website into a quiz using ChatGPT. But in this video, you don't need ChatGPT at all. I'm gonna show you how you can take any article, any PDF, any website, and turn it into a quiz using Interact AI. Now, Interact AI will completely create the quiz for you based on the information that you give us. So let's get into the form. I'll show you exactly what you need to submit and you'll have an entire quiz created for you and added right to your Interact account. Oh yeah, and it's completely free. Even though ChatGPT is really inexpensive, with Interact AI, you don't have to put a credit card down, you don't have to pay a cent. All you have to do is complete the form, create a free account, you'll have your quiz added to it, and then you can customize it. Once you're actually ready to start using this quiz, then you can start and activate a 14-day free trial. If you wanna keep using it after that, that's the only time that you will have to pay. Let's get right into it. Step number one, you are going to head over to ai.tryinteract.com. That is the page that I am on right now. And you're going to click this big, pretty purple button, create a quiz. Now, when it asks for your website URL, this is where you can add in your PDF, your article, or any website link. In this specific case, I'm going to make a quiz for a blog post that we have on ChatGPT prompt engineering. I will click next. Now, it's going to ask you if you have a title in mind for this quiz. You can absolutely click no, but I would encourage you to say yes, you do have a title in mind, especially if there's a specific goal or solution that you are using this quiz for, right? So in my specific case, um, this blog post on chat, chat, chat <laughs> on chat GPT engineering prompts, uh, I want to sort of rank how good somebody's prompt might be, right? That's what I'm thinking would make for a good quiz here. But again, you can be uh, very vague. Just give us the article, hit no, and you're done. That's it. If I click on, yes, I have a title in mind, I will just add something here like, how good are your chat GPT prompts? And I'll click next. Now, again, you can say no, you don't have any specific outcomes and you want chat GPT or a interact AI rather, we're not using chat GPT. Uh, you want AI to generate the outcomes for you, click that. But again, if you have a specific direction, if there are certain products or offerings or resources that you're wanting to highlight in your results or your quiz outcomes, then let us know what those are. Because with prompt engineering, if you didn't already know the more specific that you can get with AI, the more you can instruct it and feed it, the better the outputs will be. So I'm going to click on yes, I have specific outcomes in mind. And my outcomes are going to be pretty simple. Outcome number one is going to be a novice, somebody whose prompts are not that great. And I just want to give a brief description of what that means. So in this case, they can't use the outputs that ChatGPT is giving them, or they're spending just as much time editing those prompts as it would be to create the content on their own. That person's prompts are not that good. If I scroll down, outcome number two will be medium let's say, right, middle of the road. And the reasoning for this is because they may require a little bit of finessing or spending a little bit more time customizing or updating, editing those prompts, the outputs that they're getting, but they're actually using what AI is giving them. And then I wanna add one more outcome here. I just click add outcome, and this would be the expert. They have great prompts. If I could type. And then we'll add the description in here of this person, uh, the tone and the voice is matching really great. They're using all of the outputs that AI is giving them uh, and they're not spending much time in editing or changing the outputs. So those are the three outcomes that I wanna use for this quiz. I will click next. Again, not much thought went into that, right? It was a pretty obvious question of how good are your prompts, or rather I should say, pretty obvious answers to the question of how good are your prompts? Not good, they're okay, or they're great, right? But again, I'm telling AI, I'm feeding AI the information of what makes the prompt not good to great.
right? So that when I get this quiz back, it's going to be asking questions that are relevant to find out the actual outcome somebody should get so that the quiz really resonates with the people who are taking it. Okay, that's really it. Again, we're not using any code or special prompts here. We're literally just filling out this form. So I'll add my email in and click link my account. That is it. My quiz is being built for me. Because Interact AI is in assisted beta, it will take 24 to 48 hours to receive your quiz at the time that I'm recording this video. But when it is ready, you will receive an email and you can click on go to builder or access your account or your new quiz from the email that you receive. Here it is in my account. How good are your chat GPT prompts? I'll click edit and we can actually go through this quiz and look at what AI gave us back. So when you get your AI quiz, it will be customized to your brand colors based on the website or the article or whatever link you submitted. Uh, so that's already updated, which looks pretty cool and already on brand. Uh, you can absolutely edit uh, these uh, the text in here, but this all looks great to me. Uh, I'll skip over to the results and you can see I just added a sentence, maybe two sentences into what I wanted the outcomes to be, but I get a whole result here on why somebody landed on this specific outcome. Um, also remember I typed in novice, skilled, and expert, I think, or medium and expert, and it even um, adjusted the actual quiz titles to something that sounded a bit better than what I had told. And then if we jump over to questions, you can see the questions that are being asked. I really like this one. How much time do you spend editing chat GPT outputs? The reason this question is in here is because the explanation I gave in the outcomes of what makes the prompt good, right? Like why are you in each why would somebody be in each outcome bucket is how much time they're spending on editing these prompts. So you can see in the answer scores, if they're not spending too much time editing, they're getting more points, which will get them an expert result or outcome versus about as much time as it take me to do it on my own. They're not getting any points or just one point towards that basic novice. Uh, what do we call it? Promising beginnings outcome. So from here, it's as easy as plugging in photos that you would want on your quiz result pages. You can add additional calls to action. I already did that right here. If you want us to do it for you, simply click on this button and we'll get it done. So this is where you can add in your own offerings, your own services, or next steps that you want your quiz takers to take. When you're ready, turn on lead generation. Optimize your opt-in form, connect it with your email marketing system. Here's where you can actually set up specific segments or triggers to send people different results based on the outcomes that they are getting. And then when you are done, it's as easy as publishing your quiz. And then you have a link that you can share your quiz anywhere or an embed code where you can start embedding your quiz anywhere that you would like. Blog posts in that same blog post that I promoted on your website, on social media, etc. What are you waiting for? Head over to ai.tryinteract.com and get started today.